Hello everyone and welcome back to the Dog and Partridge, a place of own fine craft owls. If you haven't met them before, this is the world famous, very excited in the new top and, in, and hope England isn't playing 16 men this week. It's the world famous, Alan Partridge. <laughs> it's the world famous, I can't do intros, brewmaster of the day, Partridge. Hello everyone. New tops, folks, look at these, mate. Right? Snazzy, isn't he, Bobby, bro? Bobby, are you? <laughs> oh, Bobby Dazzler. Look, oh, he's on the back up. Here's that, folks. Smart, huh? Logo up. Logo, I'm, I'm being logoed up. <laughs> Fantastic. Ah, how are you, bro? I'm all right, bro. Yeah, a bit nervous for to Saturday, of course. French. Well, we're bound to get a man sent off in the first two minutes of the game and then just hand it to the French, aren't we? Because <laughs> that's what the French did last weekend. <laughs> Bloody referee. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> we're not here to talk about rugby, we're here to talk about beer. <laughs> what you got for me tonight? A range of beers from across the bar and own brew suppliers, bro. A couple of uh, malt extract kits and a whole grain kit from malt. No, Where would you like to stop? No, be jumbly. Um, well, uh, anyway, you like you, you are the bar lord. I'm well, we'll start here. Right, I will work around that way. So this looks like Love Brewing Fine Panther. It is indeed, sir. Yes. Okay. Extract kit. Extract kit. Uh, there's a box. Oh, comes in one of these uh, beer wet box. That's so it. from Love Brewing, no doubt, obviously. Yeah. Doesn't say a lot of information on the box. Yeah, it's one of those beer wet boxes. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's oh, it panther, right? little picture of a panther, IPA. Yeah, it's supposed to be a session ale. Right, yeah. I think I remember telling you this last time, it's 5.8. That's not session beer, is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been how big people have sessions, I suppose. If your session is only three pints, it's fine. Yeah. If your session is 10 pints, holy moly. And again, I'm not sure if he's got the right kit in the right box, because it's supposed to be an IPA. That's not an IPA. All day long, that's not an IPA, bro. Right? It's brown. <laughs> Very brown. It, in fact, it's, it, it's also slightly muddy brown. And in the right light, it's nearly black. <sighs> well, it is St. Patrick's Day this week, so yeah. you know. Mm. To be sure. To be sure, to be sure, to be sure. No, you see, this is what I'm just saying. It? It's like, we're, we're, it's a bit, it's gone like, there's no Guinness on the bar, so I'm going to make myself look like that. <laughs> right, okay. Are we getting a nose from it? We're getting quite a bit of nose from it. We're getting a strong maltiness again. Yeah, I'm getting that, but I'm getting a bit of a punch from the hops. Yeah. Ah, so shall we um, uh, endeavour? Endeavour. Cheers, folks. too bad actually it's not too bad and we've had some real disasters with love brewing kits just recently again you get that quite sweet taste with it don't yeah you? you do get that kind of sweet kind of lingering taste there but it, the ups do dry that sweetness out so you've got like a multi sweetness up to with the ops again but this time it's a little bit more well balanced that's not a bad beer it's quite nicely balanced actually the, mm. the hops aren't very punchy it's sweet but not overly sweet no. and it's a bit malty it it tastes actually like a decent session beer mm. but it's not an ipa no mm. i've got that mm. it's quite well, reasonable anyway it's quite, it's quite it's quite it's quite um, what are you going for out of 10 on that one mm. I'm with him. It's an eight for me as well. Mm. Ah. Ah. It's perfectly acceptable beer. This one isn't going down the sink, I think. I think we've got to drink that one. I think we can drink that. Mm. Although at 5.8, you might get a shin in on it a bit quickly. Mm. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right then, bro. Right, we're going to Moncton's now. One of their premium range, or their flagship range. I remember kids. these. They launched these, uh, was it last year or early this year? Uh, last year. I was just in 2022. That is it. Well, it's April, we've seen it for a week. Anyway, so they launched this premium kits, didn't we? And we, we yeah. brewed them all. Yeah. And you brewed one again. Yeah, I brewed the AZ again, which is our favourite kit probably of last year anyway, because it did win the gold award. That was a sublime kit, that was. Uh, their West Coast nearly got a 10 out of 10, but, <laughs> but I felt at 7.5, I couldn't quite give it a 10 out of 10. 7.5? So I said, I'll do it again. Yeah. Without the sugar, to get it somewhere around about five, five and a half. Okie dokie. And hopefully it tastes, tastes every bit the same. And a little bit more drinkable. And a little bit more drinkable. Yeah. Cool. Right. Oh, it's here. Am I going for this one? Go for that one, sir. I I'm around here. Ah, now that's more like it. That's more like it. That's what I call golden beer. You say... Clear as well. West Coast IPA? Yeah. That is a West, West Coast, Coast IPA. IPA. Does it smell like a West Coast IPA? Well, I can say, I tell you what, that's a crystal, that is. Oh, hello. I'm not getting a lot of nose off that. 
Right, I'm getting a strange Ooh. kind of, a strange kind of Would you call that pungent? Hmm. Pungent long grass, oh. just mowed grass almost. Oh, no, I want you to have a go. Yeah, nice. I'll, I'll get what you're saying. I'll get what you're saying. But with lemon mixed in. Yes, yeah, so it's uh, lemongrass. It's got a lemongrass smell oh. to it. Oh, it better not taste like lemongrass. I can't stand it. Oh. Right. <laughs> right. Right, cheers. Cheers, bro. I'm holding my nose. Oh, put the sugar back in it. Bag of sugar out of that box. Oh, put it in it. Just right in there. Just pour it. Just pour it in it now. That's alcoholic lemon juice. Is I left that then. sugar out, and I now know, now we know why, why they put it in. We well, could try these things, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> don't do what I just did, because it was quite a nice beer before, and obviously the sugar's in there to even I'll that to balance it out. Yeah. To even that out, yeah. really, because now it's way, way too sour. I, you got you got a glass of alcoholic lemon juice there. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely needs that sugar in it to bring back out the stone that's, fruits that's and the peaches okay. and everything. Yeah, I don't know if I, yeah. Oh, oh no, don't. So chop tip there. Oh, if oh. you do buy the West Coast, you do want a seven and a half out. Seven and a half. Sugar in it. <laughs> Probably put less ops in it as well. So you really got to fiddle about with it. Fiddle about with it. If you or want. just just do it as a kid. I make it as a seven and a half percent beer. Just, and then just look at a seven and a half percent beer. Fair enough. Don't do what he did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, so we've got an eight and an undrinkable. <laughs> yeah, well, let's, let's stick with that. As we tested it before, let's stick with that score. When yeah. we tested it before, and as a kit. Because to be fair, you haven't followed the instructions for the kit. Correct. So you, we can't really judge it on that, so we can't really mark it because... You've messed about with it, <laughs> but that's no good like that. <laughs> Before it was a nine and a half stroke ten. Yeah, it's a good beer. It's just a, a bit, beer. just a little bit too strong. Yeah, yeah I thought yeah. for the for, for the uh, ten out of right. ten award. So right, what's next? Bro? Right now we're off to Malt Miller now for a full grain recipe kit. Mm. Uh, this one's called Soundwave. Siren Soundwave. Siren Siren Craft Soundwave. Okay. Uh, they uh, one of Malt Miller's teams. Most favourite drinkable beer. Okay. Made by Siren Craft, bought in the shops in Cannes. Okay. They then went and released their recipe to Malt Miller. Oh, lovely. Showed them how to brew it and everything. So then they've obviously released a kit. Yep. You've made a kit. Yep. We've got it on a bar. We have indeed. Lovely, jubilee. It is an AZ IPA. Uh, it does come with a lot of ops. There is the follow detailed instructions to follow. If anybody does all grain, there is a whirlpool at 75 degrees adding ops as well. Okie dokie. If, you, if that's mumbo no, jumbo to you out there, that's nothing sorry. to me. <laughs> um, this one again, it's about, what is this, about a five, five two? Yeah, it's five yeah, two, I think. Good. It's supposed to be for 23 litre kit anyway. Right, yeah. uh, you do dry up, you do dry up, but only leave it in for three days before you. Oh, oh, oh it's easy. Oh, I gear around that. That is easy. Uh, now, to me, now, there's AZ and and there's 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 this. Now, a lot of craft beers go this way, don't they? Yeah. You see this all yeah. the time. Don't put so, findings in. Um, if you do look on Malt Miller's website, that's almost identical to how it looks yeah, like. Yeah. Picture I looks, mean, you know, it looks like a, a glass of orange juice, basically. It's, it, ooh, I'll give it a good swirl. It's, you've got them nice stone fruit sort of smell coming through. Oh, yeah. It's a nice mellow smell. It's not too pungent, is it? That's quite not nice, too yeah. pungent, nicely rounded. Yeah, well, you know what I'm going to like, I think. Well, cheers, then, bro. Right, cheers, bro. Let's have See a, what we think have a go around this. Here we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's right up my street. Shut the back door. Oh, oh. oh. it's shut. Oh. <laughs> Man alive. Oh. I can see that's why that's one of their favourite beers. That is fantastic. Oh, oh, now it. I'm already thinking of the list. Let's just describe this beer <laughs> first. How I'm rounded, how head. well balanced, oh, how yeah. smooth it is. The peachiness and the citriness just roll off the tongue. It's it's, it's, it's almost. I don't know. It sounds a bit weird, but it's almost like you're eating some nice fruits. Yes. With that nice taste, a bit of dryness afterwards. Yeah, the dryness and, like, and the bitterness coming from the hops. That all day long. I wish it was about 30 degrees outside. I got oh. nice and chilled. Yes. And I was drinking a pint of that. I think uh, 
need to brew this again in the future near the summer, I think, bro. Yeah. This is that's a fantastic bit. I'm going straight in with a 10 out of 10. For Definitely me. a 10 out of 10. Mark Miller Day say you can serve it in various different ways. You buy it in cans and in shops. I could have yeah. put it through the Guinness pump. I put it through the ample beer yeah. pump. But I thought if I was doing that in the summer, I'd put it through the Guinness pump, put the chiller on. Get that chill. Oh, man alive. And that's a glorious Just day. drink to happiness. Uh, like, you, you could just drink yourself into a puddle, quite frankly, because that is fantastic. Mm. Yeah. Glorious beer. 10 out of 10 all day long. 10 out of 10. Oh, I think it deserves a, a place on the Another board. Another place on the board for Malt Miller. Oh, uh, sorry um, about that. <laughs> There's quite a lot of Malt Millers on there. There's quite a lot of Malt Millers on there. I am getting kits from various other places. Yeah. And we try them. So, you know, if it's a good kit, it'll go on there. Malt Miller I've been sent you know, some new kits as well from Dark Rock. Ooh, They're nice. in production and they'll be coming. They're all going and part grain kits. So yeah. that's uh, some competition to Thanks throw in there. Yeah. Lovely. So definitely a place on the board. Uh, yeah, that needs to be up there. Um, we've not got any order at the minute, have we? We're just yeah, if it just, deserves to go on there, that, it goes up there. Yeah, goes a little bit. Okay, okay. Right then, let's have a look. What's coming next? You can talk of all grain kits from different suppliers. Our first beer on the board, bro, is Cross My Loof Brewery. Mm -hmm. The Seas IPA. Mm -hmm. oh, I've done all that right, have I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it a bit shorter next time. <laughs> So that's a, a new uh, all grain supply. Well, not new to me, shall I say? Yes. Uh, so we've got to try these people. So uh, any any more info on that? How strong it is or anything? You don't know. Do you? Don't know because I haven't researched for next time's video. Yet. Next time's video. <laughs> okay. Partridge Brewing. That's all. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> um, two twelve doors. This is a beer we've done quite a few times, isn't it? Yeah, I've yeah. Re uh, rearranged the recipe yet again. Okay. I've done it with Monton's new recipe uh, tins. Builder, yeah. I've done it on Maltmer's recipe site. It is uh, available on there as well. Cool. Uh, oh, so you've actually loaded it so other people can go and try it as well. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm uh, looking forward to that again. And Young's American IPA. Yeah, now Young's American IPA was on the 12 beer kits of Partridge last year. Okay. It was one of our go-to beers. Uh, if you ever stuck for a kit, get that on, get it on. Again, actually I do it without adding the sugar. Um, so we're revisiting some of our favourite beers mm. that perhaps I didn't have a corner keg to serve them through before. Yeah. Uh, and we'll be revisiting some of our old Lovely. beer favourites over the years. I did also have a, uh, um, a email from a lady who said that Young's IPA wasn't what it was and it was using different malt extract. Okay. Whether that's true or not, right. we'll taste Remains test will to be tell. seen. Okay, okay. Right, hey, bro. Is right, it, yeah. is that it from the DMP tonight? That's about it from the DMP, bro. That's three bees. One ten out of ten, one eight out of ten, and one you shouldn't have messed with. <laughs> one I shouldn't have messed with. But this is why we're here. We're, we live and learn. We're here to tell you our mistakes. And this is part of uh, Homebrew Fun, isn't it? Yeah. It's experimenting, seeing yeah. what happens, really, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, if you're watching us on any other platform, apart from YouTube, uh, please get over to YouTube and hit that subscribe button. And for those that have, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed to all our new subscribers. If uh, you are a new subscriber, we have loads of videos for you to watch from our back catalogue. That's loads. Loads. When me and him were young and had hair. <laughs> I remember them days. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't seem that long ago. <laughs> it's quite a long time ago when you look at some of those videos, I'll tell you now. Um, is that a show? Is that about it then, bro? Yeah, that's about it for, for this time. It's a goodbye from him. And it's a goodbye from him. Who's on? Who's up? To the Queen! To the Queen! Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to get messy on.